Hi there, I'm Janie with my granddaughter Vera. Our ancestors came to the United States from Germany and Luxembourg several generations ago. But one of the family traditions that has carried on through those generations is the tradition of celebrating St. Nicholas Eve on December 5th every year. St. Nicholas Day, December 6th, is celebrated in many countries across Europe, including France, Switzerland, the Netherlands, Germany and Luxembourg, and others. Uh, Nicholas was born to a wealthy family in Asia Minor many centuries ago, and he became a bishop who was known for his kindness to the poor and helpless. And he had a reputation for giving gifts secretly. So our family has carried on the tradition of celebrating St. Nicholas on December 5th, which is the eve of St. Nicholas Day. And I'll describe how we did that when I was a little girl. We would all have a family dinner together. And after dinner, we would hurry to clean up our dishes and get ready so that we could wait for St. Nicholas and his companion that we called the Hoosaker Buck. Now, if you look at current information about St. Nicholas in Luxembourg, uh, St. Nicholas is called Clesian, and his sidekick is called Hoosaker. But uh, for some reason, our family altered that and changed it to the Hoosaker Buck. And in some countries, the Hoosaker Buck is called uh, Black Peter or uh, Krampus. And around the world, people feel that Krampus or Black Peter or Hoosaker accompany St. Nicholas to punish children who misbehave. So we were a little scared that the Hoosaker Buck might see us. We had never seen him and we thought that he was something like part human, part animal, and very frightening. So we were determined not to be seen. So after we cleaned up dinner, we would lay out our stockings and go into our parents' bedroom and pray the rosary. And the rosary is a set of prayers um, that the Catholic tradition embraces that's centered around um, some prayer beads that come in sets of 10. So we would kneel and we would pray the rosary together and all the time we were praying, we would be listening. And suddenly the dogs would begin to bark. And we knew that something was going on we would hear the front door open and close with a slam. And we would look at each other and realize that St. Nicholas and the Hoosaker Buck must be here. Then the next thing we would hear is bells ringing. St. Nicholas had a very particular bell. It, it apparently was some sort of a sleigh bell and um, he would ring that as he was filling our stockings. We were careful to be very, very quiet and say our rosary prayers and listen so that we would know when St. Nicholas was finished filling our stockings. Um, all during that time inside, we were so excited and it felt like magic. We would listen and pray after we heard the door slam again and the ringing of the bell had stopped. Just to be sure that the Hoosaker Buck wasn't out there waiting for us to come out to capture us. And when we felt that enough time had passed 
It felt like forever, but it was probably only 30 seconds or a minute. Uh, we would look at each other and decide that the time had come to go downstairs and see what St. Nicholas had brought and hoped that we were good children and not naughty. It's funny, my older brother always seemed to be out in the barn when it was time for St. Nicholas, and we worried that the Hoosaker buck was going to capture him and take him away. But usually shortly after we came out, our brother would show up at the door and say he saw St. Nicholas's sleigh and he managed to escape detection as he was feeding his pets in the barn. St. Nicholas would bring candies and fruits and nuts, all things that we treasured and so usually some unusual kinds of things that we didn't have every day. And that's our story of St. Nicholas. <laughs>